Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, making this video real quick to unbox for you Wells Fargo new Propel Amex card. It's a pretty interesting card and in my opinion it's pretty competitive. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So here we have the envelope it comes in. It's just a normal letter envelope. Uh, I had to cover up my name and address but here I'm slicing it open and uh, Give me a second to put some blue tape on it to cover up everything, all my private information before we uh, dig into it. But here it is. Uh, the card's right there and just pretty typical stuff. It comes in a, well, it's not just a single page, but it's like a little pamphlet, I guess. And there are some details about it right there. Feel free to pause and look it over if you'd like, but that's that one. Um, I'm going to just go through everything it came with. So... Here's the terms of the credit card amount, I guess, but these are things that I didn't really care about because you really shouldn't, at least in my opinion, use a credit card for the credit, right? You win when you use it for the rewards. And then here are some checks, I guess, to transfer balance, but again, would not recommend because uh, these cards are best used when you are making use of the rewards, not paying on paying interest. Uh, here's some stuff that who knows but this is what really uh, interested me looks like they are now giving three points or three times back on streaming services as well so I thought that was really cool here's the information on what Wells Fargo does with your personal information. Obviously, from the way it looks, this is more of a legal document than marketing. And it has some good information on there for your knowledge if you end up getting the card, but it's pretty standard boilerplate stuff. Here's the, I guess, information on the American Express card. And here's information on the GoFar Rewards program, the terms and conditions. If you look at their website, uh, it has a 30,000 point bonus for signing, so uh, that's a value of $300 if you do a cash redemption. You get 3x back for the following categories, gas, ride shares, transit, flights and hotels, homestays and car rentals, in addition to popular streaming services. The card features include no limits on the points you can earn, and the points don't expire as long as your account remains open. No black updates on air travel when redeemed through the GoFar Rewards portal. Um, limited introductory APR, a bunch of stuff uh, about stuff, but you should really never use a credit card for the credit. Uh, no foreign transaction fees and cell phone protection, uh, which covers you against damage and theft. So that's super, that's a huge one right there. Uh, and one of the main reasons that I like the Wells Fargo credit cards. You can go on their website and read the details about the cell phone protection, but just scrolling through it here real quick, it looks like it's $600 per claim and you can't have more than two uh, per year totaling $1,200 per 12 month period and there's a $25 deductible. So it's really good coverage. Feel free to look at the details on Wells Fargo's website, which I will link below. One of the things uh, I am interested in about this card is that it's uh, a metal card actually. So for a while I thought that most metal cards were ones with annual fees. For example, I have the Chase Sapphire Preferred and I pay a $100 roughly annual fee for that and it's metal. But this card is metal as well. It piqued my curiosity a little bit so I actually weighed the two on a little package scale that I have which isn't very accurate for that small of weights. Uh, but the Chase Sapphire Preferred, which really isn't that heavy of a card, still weighs more than the Wells Fargo Propel. Uh, I'll try to Google some stuff and find out what the, the weights are from someone that has a more accurate scale. If I find them, they'll be on the screen now. But ultimately, uh, it is a metal card. It's just <clears throat> not one of the heavier ones out there. Okay, uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something from this video, or maybe you will in the future. If you're interested in seeing it, um, and learning more about it and seeing how it stacks up against, say, the Chase app I preferred and how much I like it in general, please, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It really helps. Uh, and so, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.